I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found. Hey there, thank you for joining me. This is Manny the Man Lopez on a brand new edition of PLS Tips with Manny. And uh, each week I give you guys new tips on strategies, on uh, offline marketing, online marketing, growing your business, growing your network, and just really solidifying you guys as an expert in your industry. So this week I'm going to show you guys some tips on social media, how to generate leads and business using these social media channels. Now, why do you think your business needs to be on social media? Okay, if you're in a business like Power Lead System or affiliate marketing or online marketing, okay, or selling any product, you need to be on social media. You need to have a way to connect with your audience where your customers are. They're just in Facebook alone, there's 1.4 billion users, okay? That's a very, very big amount of users worldwide. That's more than any other platform out there besides mobile. Now, with uh, Facebook, let's say, for example, uh, Facebook, one of the coolest ways that you can generate leads is by connecting with like-minded individuals. Now, how do you do that? I get questions like this all the time. How do I go about marketing myself on Facebook? Where do I start? Okay, so here's what I did when I started. When I started, I uh, had a profile on Facebook that I started just adding a bunch of friends to and growing my network that way, and just trying to post about my business, but then found that a lot of my posts were not reaching my audience. Then I literally just kind of fell off the map when you know a big portion of your friends are not interacting with you. Uh, Facebook kind of recognizes that and can see that you're not being a very um, smart networker. networker. And with the way Facebook is set up, like most businesses, they have um, a business page specifically just for promoting, promoting your business. So you have a profile for your personal stuff and you have a page to promote a business. Now, what I recommend doing, what I've seen some great success with is groups on Facebook. If you want to be effective in network marketing and affiliate marketing, a group is where you want to be. And here's why. With a group, uh, you can add people to this group. So let's say you've got a friend on Facebook you just got an inbox from and you're saying, hey, instead of saying, hey, go like my page, go opt in, you have to go do the work. You can say, hey, I'm going to add you to my group. Go ahead and uh, get connected with other members in our group here. These are all people that are like-minded individuals. What's cool is that the users can then see members of the group if you have the visibility like that. Uh, you can set up to a public group where anybody can find it, anybody can join, um, you know, anybody can just connect with there. Uh, you also have the ability to have a closed group where they have to literally be added into the group. You have to, um, you know, the posts are not shareable to outside of the group, so you can have something that's very exclusive. And then you also have a secret group where nobody can find it. Uh, so it's a great way to uh, be very, very secretive for the VIP members type of thing. Um, I like to use the closed groups because that gives it a, a way of exclusivity because in order for them to see the posts in the group, they have to join the group. So I'm not just giving out all this knowledge for free without growing that network. Um, with groups, also, you're able to uh, set it up that you can get notifications anytime there's a post made. Most of the time, that's set up on, um, on default, where if somebody was to join your group and you posted in the group, it's going to give them a notification saying, hey, Manny posted in the group, and then they click on that, it's going to go to that post. Um, it also gives more interactions, I've seen. So I have a group on Facebook uh, with my brand, and I have a Facebook page with my brand. So this year, I've kind of set up around the same time. Uh, the network is very similar in size, but my group gets a lot more interactions for some reason. So Facebook seems to be showing my post more to the members of my group than to members of my page because a page is for profit, all right? Facebook looks at pages on, uh, on Facebook as money makers, okay? And what they do is they limit your post. Groups are not meant to be marketed or advertised, okay? Usually it's just a group of like-minded individuals conversating about a certain topic. A page, though, is meant to be promoted, is meant to be a way to generate business. And for Facebook, businesses means money, all right? So Facebook what's, does what's called limiting your posts. So this way you only reach a small amount of your network, and then your network has to interact with your posts to get any more exposure. Um, and then Facebook wants you to boost your posts, so this way they can get more money out of reaching to your already existing network. Here's an example. I got a client 
Um, I won't say the name of him, but he's a music artist, and he does. Um, he's got about a little over twenty thousand fans on his Facebook. And what he does is he posts on his Facebook and uh, you know reaches out to his network, and he gets a lot of interactions. It's not just you know here's um, uh, a post about um, something basic and you know nobody likes it, but he gets hundreds of likes, he gets shares, he gets comments, and he still only reaches ten percent of his network. Okay? Even with all the interactions that he gets, he doesn't even reach out to more than 10% of his network in posting. So Facebook then asks him to boost his post, but for every thousand people that he's showing it to, I mean, he's paying ridiculous amounts. So just to reach, which he can't reach his entire network, but if he was trying to reach his network, it would cost him hundreds of dollars per post. And obviously, you know, to most businesses, that's not something that's feasible. You know, even if you got a network of thousands of people, you know, spending hundreds of dollars to post multiple times a day just doesn't make any sense. So I like groups because groups allows you to uh, to reach out to a bigger, broad spectrum of your network. Um, you get more interactions from what I've seen. You can add people there manually yourself. So if you talk to someone on the phone or talk to someone on the messenger, you say, hey, let me add you to my group, connect here, and you'll see what we're doing. Uh, so it gives you that ability uh, as well. Uh, another thing is when you're joining these groups, okay, it's not about spamming. You have to understand that you have to build value when you're on social media. Do not at all ever talk about money. Never. Not once. Okay. Do not talk about money. Let me repeat that. Do not talk about money. All right. No money. Talk about value. Talk about how you help somebody or talk about a story that you're sharing, that um, an experience that you had in your uh, business, an accomplishment, a milestone, a goal that you just hit. That's what you share, okay? You don't share anything about money. I see it every single day. Pay 20 bucks here and turn that 20 bucks into 5,000. First of all, you can't be sharing sh checks on social media. I see that a lot as well. Um, these guys walking on stage carrying these big checks. It's illegal, okay? You cannot be sharing your numbers on money of what you make in these multi-level marketing or affiliate programs. That is not the way to sell people. I know it's a great way to show, hey, I'm making money, it's real legit, this is an opportunity that's producing results. I get it, I understand the need to wanna to do that. The problem with though, is that you're, you're sharing income examples to people that are expecting from day one to make those incomes, and they will not, and they will get discouraged. So you have to have a way to build value in your brand by letting them know that there is support there's training, there's coaching, there's resources, there's ways for you to build this business and not be by yourself. That's what you need to share on social media, okay? Um, uh, another way you wanna go out there is uh, when you're posting on social media, okay? Here's some tips on that. When you post on social media, what you wanna do is you wanna promote interactions. You wanna get the people that are seeing those posts to not just like it, but comment on those posts, respond, tag their friends, that kind of stuff, share it with people. And the way you do that is you promote interaction. And by doing that, you ask questions, all right? So say for example, you post, um, let's say we're talking about the power lead system, okay? And we wanna share examples of uh, some results. Uh, we've got tons of videos that you could share via Facebook. And instead of sharing your link, in that post because Facebook is pretty smart about that. They see that you're trying to bring them outside of Facebook. They don't want that, all right? So let them know that, hey, you've got some questions, let me know, okay? Don't include the words like, comment, or share in your post because Facebook is an, being smart again and recognizing people are just like horn, all right? They're saying, hey, like my status, po you know, comment on this to show that you, you're a real person or whatever they wanna say. Okay? And they think it's helping promote interactions. The problem with that, though, is that Facebook recognizes that you're just asking for likes, you're just asking for comments, you're just asking for shares, and they're going to, again, limit your post. Okay, When you have a social media network that you're trying to grow, you have to understand the biggest form of value that you're going to have is the percentage of reach that you can reach to out of that network. Okay, and it's typically going to be five to ten percent if you're not doing uh, marketing efficiently. If you do it really, really well, like for some reason I know no clue why, but I've got a page that gets well over the amount of likes I have in reach. I don't know, maybe it's just because I interact well or ask questions a lot, but it's not normal. Okay, very, very not normal. Um, 
normally you're going to get five to ten percent of, of your audience as the reach um, and then they have to interact and kind of build from there but if you ask questions if you get more people to comment if you get people to you know like and share your stuff you're going to get more interaction you're going to get more exposure because you'll start seeing those you know mary commented on this uh jeff commented on this that kind of stuff um utilize your personal profile uh to build your network as well and not the fact of you going out there and posting from your profile. Here's how you do it, okay? Let's say you have a page or you have a group, okay? You post in the group and then you take that post and you share it via your, your personal profile, okay? And this way you can link in your group to that post. So if somebody says, oh wow, that's pretty interesting. I wanna learn more about that. They click on your group and they join your group, okay? Uh, they can also have questions that comment on that and say, hey, well, if you notice that page, that post came from our group, go ahead and join our group and I'll give you more details on, on what we're talking about here. Um, a lot of things as well is uh, utilize the video that, uh, that Facebook allows you to do, uh, including your own video. What's cool about Facebook's video, it is definitely going to show it to more people. Um, if you try to share a YouTube video or something, they definitely limit those posts. I've seen that as well. Uh, if you upload the video directly to YouTube, uh, uh, to YouTube, to Facebook, uh, one of the cool things is that it will autoplay that video while they're scrolling through the newsfeed, so it captures the attention. It's not just a stale, static picture that they have to click on and press play. Uh, they actually get to see the video play as they scroll through. So it's automatically going to play that video uh, with no sound, and they press play to get the sound. So that's something that um, you can take advantage of as well. Uh, what I like to do on my videos is I'll record a, um, a snippet. Um, so I have the main video recorded. I'll take a minute, minute and a half, two minute snippet and uh, and put that via Facebook uh, or you know YouTube or basically I'll, I'll upload all my videos on YouTube. Okay, that's where they go. And then I share the video snippets and stuff via Facebook that will link to those videos. Does that make sense? So, for example, if I have a snippet about last week's event right, that we did where we had Les Brown talk and we talked about the Christian Grey thing with Fifty Shades of Grey, and then I made a snippet video that kind of highlighted just a section of the video that talked about a certain topic and said, hey, do you want to learn more? Click here and then put the, the link to the video there. So it's not just, um, uh, you know, going out there and spamming them. You want to provide value. And my value is in teaching. My value is in showing step-by-step -step processes. My value is, is giving you guys tools and resources to be successful. So what I do on Facebook or any social media channel, because you got to think, you know, Facebook is what I focus on, but Facebook's tips and strategies can be used for Twitter, can be used for Instagram, could be used for LinkedIn on most cases. So a lot of things that I'm doing and saying when I say Facebook, uh, keep in mind that is for every, everything, okay? So if you want to utilize these strategies on Twitter and stuff like that, definitely, you know, take what you can get from there and run with it. Uh, but I, I focus my efforts on Facebook and YouTube. That's my two social media channels. That's where everything is, is kind of structured at. Um, I've seen a lot of people have success with LinkedIn. Uh, unfortunately, that's not me. <laughs> uh, I've been on LinkedIn for years, um, over 500 connections. I've got the whole expert profile and all that stuff. And I literally generated not one lead, zero. Big goose egg on LinkedIn for me. Uh, but I don't focus on that, you know. So that may be a reason why as well. I don't post on LinkedIn because I don't know anybody that does go on LinkedIn to scroll through the newsfeed. Uh, people go to Facebook. They want to go where things are fun. I know business B two B for LinkedIn is is great, um, but I don't know. I I just haven't seen the results myself. Um, maybe I'll just, you know, hang out with a couple more people that do LinkedIn primarily and I'll learn some tips there. Uh, but hey, just like uh, with anything, I, I'm a student just as much as a coach. So I go out there and, and I have to learn these strategies, implement these strategies, then I teach these strategies. So I just teach what I know. Okay, I don't know LinkedIn, so I stay away from that myself. If you know somebody that knows LinkedIn, connect them with me. I love to be able to capitalize on that market myself. Um, I just don't have the time right now to literally just spend the hours and hours it's going to take to understand it. Um, I literally just have no time. So I focus on what I know. I've got great results through that. I'm busier than I could possibly be right now. Um, you know, I'm, it's a struggle just to get these videos in and, uh, and and try to get them done, converted, and uploaded for you guys each week. But I, I make it happen for you guys because I know the value that you guys see in it. And if it can help just somebody make a difference in their life, you know, they're going to be able to touch other people and make differences everywhere. I mean, it's a snowball effect. It just happens. You know, like that movie, Pay It Forward. You do one small thing, that will turn into another. I mean, it just changes the world.
Okay, that's my focus is if I can help one business at a time, one business professional at a time, they can take that and apply it to their business. They may be able to grow a network of thousands of people for it. And now they've changed the lives of thousands of people now. I mean, that that's that's what's exciting to me. Uh, so that's what I, I have some on social media tips. We're about 15 minutes in right now. Uh, I think I can throw a couple more out there. Uh, let's look at YouTube. Okay, YouTube is a very, very powerful tool for me. Uh, one of the things that you that I do on oh, forgot to mention something on the other social media stuff. Hashtags. Okay, hashtags. Those are the little pound signs. You know that uh, you know what are pounds? Shift three. Okay. Um, hashtags. Utilize those when you talk about certain topics, like say. Um, you know, online marketing or branding or affiliate or PLS, something that's going to capture um, an audience around that keyword. So, I mean, utilize it in anything that you talk about when you're posting online. At least use one hashtag per post. Okay, commit to that one hashtag per post, and pick a word that you utilize in your in your verbiage and make that into a hashtag, and that hopefully can connect you to other people. I get friend requests every single day and I know some of them is because of the hashtags I used. Um, Twitter and Instagram are more effective on using hashtags. Facebook is not too um, algorithm safe on the hashtags yet but it still gets exposure, it still gets you know workable and stuff like that. Uh, if you can create your own hashtag, like I create a hashtag, hashtag learn with Manny. Um, so then anytime I put out something that's teaching, I use that hashtag so people can click on that and see all the posts that I've done that included that hashtag learn with Manny. Uh, so that's something of value there. Let's jump onto YouTube real quick before we uh, finish this off today. So YouTube, uh, some of the things that I do on YouTube is I make sure I use the words how to. Okay, how to something, how to do PLS, how to build a campaign, how to whatever it is that you're trying to teach. Okay, YouTube is a great source for people to learn how to do stuff. Okay, it's the second largest search engine in the world, right behind Google, which happens to own YouTube. So, um, you basically be the number one there. So, YouTube, uh, the coolest things you can do there is use the keywords that people type in. Okay, I use like a 50 different keywords that I put into each of my videos that way they get ranking and I'm getting hundreds of hits every single video that I put out there so um, you know for me it's it's a, a way for me to promote myself uh, on an automated basis with literally no money in advertising I don't spend money in advertising um, I do networking events I do expos uh, and I post on Facebook and, and YouTube that's that's what I do so uh, and I've generated so much business from it that I just I have to teach you guys how to do this and it's very easy you go on YouTube you start putting videos out now you're not gonna get exposure right away don't expect to overnight have a hundred hits and two hundred hits and thousand hits and all of a sudden you're a YouTube sensation it took a lot of work you know my videos let me see I don't think it's gonna cut off here I've got two different YouTube channels but let me see if I can see how many videos I have I don't think I can uh, no, it just tells me to learn load more. But I've got hundreds of videos, okay? Um, I don't know I've got to have a thing that shows me exactly how many videos I have. Okay, there we go. I have 167 videos on one channel. And then this one, I probably had to log in before I could see that. But it's probably around the same, okay? So it's, you know, it took me a, a long way to get to where I'm at today. And, you know, you, you could spend money in advertising. You could do so and get thousands of hits overnight. Uh, for me, I like to build my my list organically, uh, for the most part, because this way I can spend money on money making activities. Um, I could do solo ads. I've done those in the past. They've had some results. Um, but the only way to do solo ads effectively is to not ask for phone numbers, which I need to, because I love talking on the phone, and I need to get those leads to my team so that way they can handle them. And email is not the best way to to connect with people. So it's not. Uh, text is the best way. Mobile is the best way. Picking up the phone is the best way. You know, email gets a five to ten percent open rate within twenty four hours. So we want to make sure if we're reaching out to something effectively and quickly, um, I always ask for phone number. You know, it's just that's just me. Uh, so if you look on my stuff there, um, you know, you'll see that my effectiveness is, is really in providing as much uh, free content as I can without selling. I don't want to sell because if I build enough value, they're going to call me and ask for my business. They're going to say, hey, I need work with you. I need to do this or I need to do this. You know, what can you help with? And they'll research you. If you set up yourself online right, you Google Manny Lopez, you're going to see what I have out there. It's not just um, power lead system. You know, I've got a whole 
plethora, plethora, plethora of businesses and affiliate programs that I work with. So uh, my focus really is just to make sure that when people see me online, they can easily find me and there's a way to get in touch with me on an automated basis that I don't have to sit there and repeat myself over and over and over again. I can say, hey, watch this video. If you like it, let's touch base. You know, if you don't, keep it moving. <laughs> I got no time for that. So uh, that's what I'm going to leave it off with today. We're already 20 minutes in. So well, exactly 20 minutes in right when I looked at it. So uh, enjoy your guys' rest of the uh, Power Lead System training. If you're taking advantage of Dottie's training, take advantage of Neil's training and Jeff's training. Uh, we've got some awesome stuff in here, guys. And it just gets getting better and better. So uh, enjoy what we can uh, take advantage of here, guys. And um, I'll see you guys here next week. Have a great day. And always remember, you are too blessed to be stressed. Thank you. I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place in the family.